Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I'm going to create a fall Halloween, very festive and fun holiday decor. All right, so these are some of the items I'm going to be using today. So this is a storage container. It came with a wooden lid. It's really pretty. I had two of them and I didn't know what to do with this one. But this one sort of reminds me of a pumpkin and the lines or the ridges that you see are inside this container it's made of glass and it's really cute i like the scalloped edges at the bottom and everything about it when you turn it upside down it reminds me of a pumpkin this is a candle holder i picked this up from my thrift store i'm going to be using two different colored paints today by folk art also i'm going to be using two colors of glitter today one color the lighter color is called champagne and the other one is called topaz I'm going to be using a few kinds of adhesive today Aileen's the mixed media adhesive I'll be using the Aileen's tacky glue also will be using my hot glue gun four inch mirror that's from the Dollar Tree I'll also be using these gems I picked these up from Michaels this color is called I believe amber I picked those up years ago so I decided to finish that off by using it in this project. So I'm going to get started. So first I'm going to start by cleaning off the candle holder with a little bit of alcohol sprayed onto the paper towel. And I'm just going to peel that paper off at the bottom because I really don't need that. Next I'm going to be using the black paint by Folk Art. I'm going to shake that up just a little bit. And I'm going to start by painting the color the candle holder. I'm just going to paint that very quickly and it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be layering the other color over top of it. So I'm just going to give that a thin painting and then I'm going to let it dry for about one hour. So now that it's dry guys, this is what it looks like. And it really looks nice painted black. Yeah, so this, this is a metallic paint. It's called Rich Espresso. I'm going to use a little bit of this just to paint over the black. I want it to have like a slight bronze look. So I'm gonna paint this and then I'm gonna let this dry for an hour. So this is what it looks like. It looks so pretty. So it's ready for the next step. I'm going to take a little bit of my Aileen's Mixed Media Adhesive. I'm going to apply it to the rim of the holder and then I'm going to turn the holder upside down onto that 4 inch mirror that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to allow that to dry for about 12 hours. So now it's time to decorate the glass container and I'm going to take a little bit of my Aileen's Tacky Gel. I'm going to place it into a container. I'm going to use a little bit of water just to thin out the adhesive. The lighter color is called Champagne and the coppery color is called Topaz. So I've put both of them into a separate shakers because it's going to be easy for me to apply the glitter inside the vase with a smaller container. So now that my vase is cleaned off inside and out. I'm going to take a little bit of the glue and water mixture and just spread it inside the vase. So after I spread the glue into the container, I'm going to shake the glitter in and I'm going to alternate one color and then the next. And I'm going to keep doing that till the vase is completely covered.
So once the base is completely covered, I'm going to put that off to the side. I'm going to let that dry for a few hours. Look how pretty it looks in the inside. The, the outside, the two color glitters are perfect together. They look absolutely beautiful together. So right now, I'm going to take some alcohol, spray it onto a paper towel, and I'm going to clean off the outside of the container, which is now a pumpkin. <laughs> And it looks just like a pumpkin. The color is perfect. So now I'm going to use these acrylic gems that I picked up from Michaels. I'm going to start to create a pumpkin face. And I'm just going to just adhere them, the eyes, the nose, and create a mouth. But look how cute his face is. Looks really nice. And here's the candle holder. It looks really nice together, guys. They look so nice together. So to illuminate the inside of the pumpkin, I'm going to use a tap light. I picked up the tap light from Amazon. And you simply just press and hold the tap light. It'll get either dim or brighter, depending how much pressure you, you place with your thumb. So I'm going to use that to illuminate the inside of the pumpkin. So before I place the light on the pumpkin, I'm going to use a little bit of double sided adhesive. And it's also going to prevent our glass pumpkin from sliding around and sliding off the mirror. And the mirror is also going to help disperse light inside the pumpkin. So it's going to look extra bright. So now what's a pumpkin without a hat? So I found this hat when I was cleaning up my craft closet. This is a headband Halloween hat. And I had this for about five years. I just want to refine the hat just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is remove the headband portion, which is broken.
I gotta fix the bottom of the hat so it will sit firmly on the pumpkin's head. So I'm going to use the old headband. I'm just going to cut away a couple of pieces from it. The headband works really well because it's already have a nice curve to it. And I'm just going to refine that a little bit. And I'm going to take a little bit of my double sided adhesive tape. I'm going to adhere the two pieces together in like an X pattern. I'm going to place it on top of the pumpkin. I'm going to adhere that with the double sided tape as well to the head of the pumpkin. Going to take the hat and hot glue the hat onto the pieces of the headband. I'm going to hold that in place until it's completely dry and once it's dry guys you'll see the final results. So guys look how nice this looks. This is so cute. This is so cute for the holidays and the hat was a hat that I already had so I didn't have to do a lot of work. I love the way this came out. This is so, so cute. Now you let me know what you think in the comment section. And guys, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for joining me again. I do appreciate you. And uh, you stay well, you stay safe, you stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.